recipe for coming to Japan and uh, could you let me know uh, what is pizza? With PISA we are trying to assess how well young people are prepared for the challenges of modern society. This is not just looking at whether they have learned or can do what they have learned in school, but whether they can extrapolate from what they have learned and apply their knowledge, sometimes in novel new situations, situations that are unfamiliar to them. We want to see whether students have basic foundation skills, literacy for example, the capacity to access, manage integrate different information sources, reflect on information, the capacity to think scientifically, to identify scientific questions, to use scientific evidence. Mathematics as well, as well is a very important topic in PISA, not the world of formulas and geometry and algebra, but again the capacity of young people to think scientifically, to apply mathematics and uh, questions like this. We also look at young people's attitudes. The, uh, not just whether they do well in science, for example, but also whether they see science as something that opens their own life opportunities for their own personal future. So it covers a wide range of important skills that we need to succeed in today's success societies. What can you say about Japan, uh, education in Japan? Well, together with Finland and Europe and Canada and North America, Japan is always the benchmark that we use for success in education. Very, very strong learning outcomes, high proportion of top performing schools with very strong skills, a reasonably equitable distribution of learning opportunities. The results for Japan are very strong, generally speaking, but there are also some challenges. For example, often we see young people who do not have the attitudes they need to use learning for their future life. Uh, they don't always have sort of positive views on learning, on schooling. They do not always see the life opportunities that are in knowledge and skill. So there are some challenges for Japan as well. If you look in school education, the results are very strong. In higher education, there are also some challenges arising, particularly in making higher education affordable. In uh, the education systems anywhere, and including Japan, are rapidly expanding. More and more people want to get better skills because that is important for their own personal success. And making that affordable for people is a big challenge also for Japan. Like when you think about many other countries, students also only get loans to finance their studies. But they pay them back contingent on their future income. So it's not such a high burden initially. Or countries have very strong systems of grants where they support young people who cannot afford higher education. So I think there are some challenges ahead for Japan also to ensure that all people, all young people have access to high quality, higher education beyond very, very strong foundation they get in school. And we had at the start PIAC, uh, the European uh, Union Pedagogy Council. us about PIAC. Yes, in fact we are working together with MEX to establish what is a very innovative assessment system where we not just look at the skills, skills in the adult population, but we are also looking at how adults actually use their skills. We are looking at the labor market and social outcomes of skills. To what extent does what we have learned in school or later in life actually help us to become productive citizens? the labor market and social outcomes. We look at some contextual factors that explain those outcomes. So PIAC will help us to understand the kind of skills that matter most for our success. It will help us to shape education systems in ways that they produce those skills very effectively. And it will help people to be better prepared for a rapidly changing world. We do not know the occupations that will exist tomorrow or in, f in five years. If you look to the United States, for example, uh, ten occupations most highest in demand today did not exist even in 2004. So we don't know how the future will look, but preparing people to be able to shape that future, to have the right skills, the right attitudes, the right motivations is very important and this PIAC survey is the first international survey that will help us to understand those factors. We are very glad we just had a meeting in Tokyo in fact with the board of uh, participating countries to help design that survey that will very soon start. Thank you very much. Thank you.